Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video day, and today the Detroit Lions beat, or I wouldn't say crush, but mainly were crushing the the Panthers in this game. They won by 18 points. Um, they were up by um, a total of 25 points, and the and the Panthers scored a, a la two minute two minute last two minute touchdown um, with the Adam Thielen one yard touchdown from Bryce Young. Bryce Young didn't look terrible in this game. I mean, he, he did score the most points he's put up as, as the starting quarterback today. He threw three touchdown passes and threw for over 225 passing yards, but he also still threw two interceptions as well. So better performance from Bryce, but not much better. Um, so let's go over the game, um, and let's start with the scoring summary as the Lions won 42-24. Um, so the first quarter, you have two touchdowns. Big touchdown for David Montgomery. His last, their last game against the Packers, he had three of these, uh, three touchdowns. This is a 42-yard touchdown rush. Riley Patterson's good on the extra point. Then Jared Goff throws a four-yard touchdown pass to Sam Laporta, the rookie tight end who's been spectacular. It's 14-0. to zero. How about a, a tight end? Bryce Young throws a one-yard touchdown pass to Tommy Tremble, the tight end, and it's 14-7. to seven. And then Jared Goff throws a one-yard touchdown pass to Josh Reynolds, and it's 21-7. Then Jared Goff throws a 31-yard touchdown pass to Sam Laporta. Extra point is good by Riley Patterson. It's 28-7. And then Eddie Pinero and the Panthers make a 33-yard field goal going to halftime. Jared Goff has a one-yard touchdown run. It's 35-10. Then in the fourth quarter, uh, you'd see Bryce Young throw an 18-yard touchdown pass to DJ Chark Jr. It's 35-17. to uh, 17. Then Craig Reynolds with a five-yard touchdown run for the Lions. It's 42-17. to 17. And then Bryce Young with his third touchdown pass of the day, a career high for him. One-yard touchdown pass, another one-yard, so many one-yard touchdown passes. Uh, Bryce Young to Tommy Tr Tremble. Um, also, um, Jared Goff to Josh Reynolds. And then Young to Adam Thielen. Uh, they go for the extra point, of course, and it's the final score is 42-24. to 24. Game leaders, Panthers, Bryce Young, 25 for 41, 247 passing yards, three passing touchdowns, two interceptions thrown. Jared Goff, uh, 20 for 28. 236 passing yards, three passing touchdowns. Chubba Hubbard, nine carries for 35 rushing yards. Uh, David Montgomery, 19 carries, 109 rushing yards, one touchdown. Adam Thielen, 11 receptions for 107 receiving yards and one touchdown. Josh Reynolds for four receptions, 76 receiving yards and one touchdown. Some other stats, Miles Sanders with seven carries for 32 rushing yards, while Craig Reynolds had seven carries for for uh, 52 rushing yards. Other receiving stats for the Lions, how about uh, Jamison Williams making his season debut? They only had two receptions for two yards. Um and there was no Amon Ross St. Brown in this game. That's why Josh Reynolds was a huge target for the Lions in this ballgame. And so was Sam Laporta. Khalif Raymond also had three receptions for 45 receiving yards. And Marvin Jones Jr. had two receptions for 22 receiving yards. Um, and then Jonathan Mingo for the Panthers had five receptions for 48 receiving yards. And DJ Tark Jr. had three receptions for 42 receiving yards and one touchdown. Fumbles in this game. There was one fumble. It was Miles Sanders. He fumbled and lost it. It was recovered by Will Harris. Uh, defense. Leader in tackles for the Panthers was Vaughn Bell with nine tackles. Leader in tackles for the Lions was Alex Anzalone uh, with 11 tackles. One sack for the Lions and two tackles for loss. That was Aiden Hutchinson with a sack. Um, two sacks for the Panthers. One sack for C.J. Henderson. One sack for Brian Burns. They had a total of three tackles for loss. The two interceptions for the Lions was Aiden Hutchinson. Another interception in his career. I believe that's his fourth interception of his career. He returned it for six yards. And then Jerry Jacobs with the interception as well. He returned it for 11 yards. So yeah, that was it for the game. Use them or your thoughts on the Lions win. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are the Lions the best team in the NFC? Because some people have been saying that they think the Lions are the best team in the NFC. I would put the 49ers over the Lions. Um, I would probably still put the Eagles over um, over the Lions. But then I think the Lions are probably the third best team in the NFC. They have a great offense. They have a great defense. And the Lions have looked great in the first uh, five weeks of the season, starting 4-1. and one. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed their thoughts, and peace out.